Hey, what's up guys? I'm C Love. Today, I've got another super simple project that's easy to make if you need to try to make a quick buck or if you want something fast to give as a gift. I've got these two imperfectly straight aromatic cedar boards that are three quarters of an inch thick by four inches wide and 48 inches long. So I'm gonna cut them down and turn them into cedar soap dishes. I ended up making a total of 21 pieces at five different sizes and I'll make sure and show you the final dimensions of all of them. Come on, let's take a look. If the only tool you have is a table saw, you can still easily complete this project and it might actually be a little easier for you. I'll make a couple test pieces to gauge the sizes that I want while using my push stick and miter gauge. Using these cedar soap dishes provides a naturally antimicrobial surface to store your bar soap. They will resist moisture to keep your soap dry and make it last longer. They look pretty awesome and they smell good too. I'll get started by lightly sanding down my boards to 220 grit just to clean up the surface. Using the table saw, I'll take the board that is severely cupped and trim down both sides before barely moving the fence over just a tiny bit. I'll end up making what felt like a million passes to finally bring it down to three and a half inches wide. This for the most part got rid of the cupping and made my board pretty straight. I also cleaned up the edges on the second board, bringing the total width to just under four inches. Next, I need to cut the channels that will allow the excess water to drain away. I'll set my blade depth to as close to halfway as I can, just using the eyeball, and set my fence to one inch away from the blade using the measuring tape built in on my table saw. The first board is a three and a half inch wide one, and I'll make a pass to cut the first channel and simply turn the board around, leaving the fence at one inch away from the blade, and make another pass. I'll use the miter saw to cut the channels on the other side, making sure that where the lines intersect, a nice clean hole is made for further water drainage. On the board that is almost four inches wide, I set my fence to one, two, and three inches from the blade and made my passes, keeping the orientation of the board the same every pass. This will give these pieces a different look and hopefully better drainage. As per usual, I really have no idea what I'm doing here, so I'll cut the channels in the first piece and get it sanded down to see about what these will look like when I get done. I'll zoom through the rest of the cuts and let you know that when I started this project, I really only wanted to make the one that is square shaped. That seemed like a good size, but once I started cutting, I decided I better make at least two different sizes. And then I decided to make a YouTube video so I wanted to have four different sizes. And then I broke one on purpose during the quality testing portion of this project and that yielded me a fifth different size. All for you to see right here. I'll finish up my cuts and you can really see the difference that hand sanding makes right now. As far as I know, a standard bar of soap measures roughly 3.4 inches by 2.4 inches and here's what that looks like on these soap dishes that are now closer to being finished. You will need to seal them somehow to help further protect them from water and mold, so I chose a mineral oil bath. Get the cheapest stuff you can find and completely soak your dishes and allow them to drip dry. You don't need the expensive mineral oil and this doesn't need to take a long time. Just completely cover them, allow the major excess to run off, and move on to the next one. I built a very primitive scrap lumber V-shaped drying rack for these pieces and it actually worked pretty well. I let them dry overnight and they were good to go in the morning. Just make sure that none of them are touching each other while drying. As promised, here are the final dimensions of the five different soap dishes that I ended up with. Please consider subscribing to my channel and if you've never seen an armadillo, I'll show you an extremely large one that I saw in person at the end of this video. Thanks for your support. I'll see you soon.